right. Let's handle some business. How can I get you guys to miss me if I never go away? Bryce, what's going on, homeboy? Thanks for that cover. Red Room issue number one. Give a shout out. What is your store called? Izzy's Comics and Collectibles. Thank you very much for goosing up the numbers for Red Room issue number one. You guys made the comic a bona fide hit. Thank you so much for your pre-orders. Why not keep things rolling? You know, put in your pre-order for issue number two, issue number three. As soon as I get the cover done for issue four, do the same. Right now, this is going to be a, uh, a variant cover for issue number two. But yeah, have to thank you guys. Make sure the kayfabe audience shops like Bryce's dad shop, you know, ordering a thousand copies a piece. Peach Momoko, Jim Rugg doing their variants, man. Made this little goofy comic of mine with people getting their ears chopped off and their heads exploded into a hit. You know, but let's keep that shit going. This is for a poker face issue, number two variant. So, seems logical. You gotta, you gotta do the cards, man. The playing card suits. Here's something I'm curious about. Uh, today's video... Barry Windsor Smith Monsters book is barely out. I do see that people have got it. Uh, I do see that a lot of people are waiting for it. I guess they pre-ordered or whatnot. How many of you watch the video? Or are you waiting to watch the video after you read it? This guy, a little gnarly skull ring, and just to add some visual variety to this piece. Yeah, you guys are gonna. gonna dig that comic when it comes out i guess i guess it's coming out next week this week this wednesday i don't know never know how that shit works i was watching uh looking at some jason Carnes comics and he draws the gnarliest thumbnails kind of like that right there man so have no shame in stealing good ideas for your own use. I'm going to use like a deadline with the playing card suits because if you look at a set of playing cards, they're kind of mechanical, almost like etchings. So we're going to try to capture that spirit. on this skull here because why not
I'm so so happy that Barry Windsor Smith made that happen. You know, there is a history of promised comics in uh, in this game. You know, you hear about stuff that's been in the works for a long, long time and doesn't always bear fruit. But God damn it, if Barry Smith, man, didn't make one of the best comics of his entire life when he's been in the game for 50 years, man, that's a very hopeful notion. You know, it's like he was possessed. Took some time off from the streams because I was writing uh, issue, whatever issue I'm on, uh, the second issue of, of the second season. Uh, but I've designed it all. I've laid it all out. So expect the streams to come back pretty regularly until I finish this issue up, just like I did with uh, Rat Queens, if you remember. You know, did a stream almost every day. It's been pretty fun taking the time to lay out the entire comic at, in one clip rather than just like a page a day, like, you know, begin and finish a page before moving on to the next. Uh, it just gives me a lot more time to sit with the story, change things as I need. Uh, it's almost Marvel method, so I can build things in by way of dialogue later um, I can look at some of the old pages and and give them a second pass I definitely recommend doing that I've done it the past like two issues and it's it's really worked out Adam Brooks thanks for that super chat man So I'm putting the G pen to use right now with the more organic stuff. It's hand, the actual physical playing cards will have this treatment. But then the art inside the cards. Will be probably a fine liner. Copic fine line or something like this. Edison Neo, thanks for coming back, man. You guys are the real heads because you have that bell icon hit. I can tell. Yeah, regarding the streams, the, the way it will work is there were times, like after I finish an issue, I have to go write the next one. So there will be that lag, that downtime, because I just need 100% silence while putting that stuff together. Very important. But then when that's taken care of, then it's time to hang out with you guys while putting pencil to paper. Or pen to paper, I should say. try that one again I don't know what I was thinking with that line I want to get a little bit of a loose line like let a little wobble happen but not too much Christopher twin neither can I he says can't wait till red rooms in the comic shop uh, it's a mere couple of weeks inside of four weeks red room issue one is gonna gonna hit the stands I can't can't freaking believe it
It's such a fun comic to make. I'm glad you guys are so supportive of it. Uh, it makes me... It makes me think that in some ways I was right. That people are just tired of these kinds of baby food. Boring, inoffensive, trying to please everybody comics. You know? Let, let, let one cartoonist who could give a fuck about you know, the peanut gallery make something without, without worrying. Screen looks kind of dark. Let me let me lighten that shit up a, a touch. One second. How do I do that? Boom. Properties. Configure video. Let me brighten up the situation a touch. It's so weird. My room is so lit. But for some reason. The vid was a touch dark. Anyhow. Happy is one. Book the tour uh, trip to Japan in February. So that, I guess, means that Japan is opening up again. I think the victory lap that I'm going to take whenever I finish the last contracted piece of Red Room Comics is... Uh, to go to go to Japan for a couple of months you know I wanted to go there for a month every year and that didn't happen last year that ain't gonna happen this year so I might have to do a three-month bid next year if it's opened up Boom. Joe Anderson, thanks for the super chat, homie. Thank you very much. I'll fix that all with Photoshop. I'll edit it in post. I do have a pandemic Red Room comic, uh, and I came up with it before COVID, believe it or not. I was uh, thinking about, I was thinking about the plague, actually, and if you saw any of the stuff, like if you're on my Patreon and you saw Red Room issue one, there's an element of some of these companies they they factory farm human beings and that's established so you could imagine if some disease gets into that situation i'll just leave it at that because i still might do the comic every time i'm about to sit down and do it i, I have a different idea a better idea Didn't the light a touch? All right, man, this is the last time I'm going to mess with it. And then we'll just have to live with it. Let's see. We'll say that. Yeah, I don't think Jimmy and I knew when Monsters was officially out because I saw people on Instagram stories posting copies and stuff. So I don't know. 
I don't know what kind of secret juice they have that everybody else doesn't. You guys should know what our secret juice is. They publish our stuff. How about that Jim Rug Apaw variant? He's got to do more. Yeah, that broken th thumbnail was nasty shit, right? Shouts to Jason Carnes, man, for just draw drawing some stuff like that. I saw it on his Facebook, and I'm just like, that is a good thumbnail. I'm gonna play more with the hand. I didn't realize that like so much of my inking was not on the freaking screen. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm I'm rusty. I'll add some shading and stuff to that later. Oops. Joe Anderson, thanks for uh, checking me out on the Comics Tropes YouTube channel. Shouts to Chris for the interview. Glad to see he's mobile up. Up and about doing his thing. Let's see, let's see. All right. Put the ink away for a little bit. I do have a bunch of Car Warriors mags. straight edge be very incongruous with the wobbly outer cards I feel like this is so necessary man if you if you have a character called poker face like you have to do a cover like this See if this still has ink in it. Yeah. I use this this fine liner for uh the lettering up top.
Man, these Copics feel so nice on paper. Like butter. The stuff I'm, I'm listening to Del the Funky Homo Sapien a lot lately. Deltron. I'm thinking I might need a shoot interview with him. In all the his interviews, he talks this 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 nerd stuff, but none of his interviewers ever jump on that shit and go down that direction and I think it would be super fun to go down the, that direction with him you know Dell you ever go to uh, Nakano Broadway Mall in J when you were in Japan and if so what did you buy how many suitcases did you, did you fill the first time you went over there and what did you scoop up I'm going to have to hit him up. Kuroko, you know it, man. That's my new jam, by the way. Like, he has so many, uh, so many kind of catchy, catchy jams. Certainly on that first album, but you can't go wrong with that if you must joint. So that'll be a solid color red. Just kind of mapping out how I'm going to design this, what kind of colors and stuff, because I don't, I don't want all black holding lines on these playing cards, because playing cards don't work that way. Yes, thank you for uh, getting Red Room added to top 10 reorder list. Got to thank the Kayfabe audience for that. Got to thank Peach Momoko. Got to thank Jimmy Rugg for their hard work, their beautiful covers. What's up, Corey? Thanks for the super chat. Uh, I'm not sure how the digital 
distribution for Red Room will be. I think you should get it on paper, though. Just got confirmation on the production values for it. And it's going to be on the exact paper and, c and cover stock that I want. So it's going to be a nice book. You know, you'll never confuse it for some jobber comic. Joe, thanks for the super chat. Yeah, Chris from Comic Tropes, man. Like, I'm I'm no dummy. You you put someone, you know, who did well, more successful at something than me. I'm gonna pull their coat. I'm gonna shut my mouth. I'm gonna open my ears. School me. How could I? How could I uh, get close to that? And Chris gave me some good intel, man. Like, I hit him on the spot, like, when we were doing the proper interview. But afterward, he was gracious with his time and hung out with me for a little while, man, and gave me some scoop. You know, gave me a, a um, you know, very reasonable assessment and some thoughts on what Jimmy and I should do. Definitely take it to heart. There'll be some cool shadows and stuff in here. Some interesting, you know, marks and stuff of this gold. The variants can be ordered online through various shops that, you know, hit triggered the incentive. So you could find Peach Momokos online for 60, 70 bucks. That's the price. You know that that store charged. Uh, there, I know that there are places that are charging 150.
I think some of these lines will be colored reds and blues. I didn't know that there were refillables, to be honest, when I got these. So, it's just my ignorance. I'll try the refillables, probably. Jack Rudy, thanks for ordering Red Room Comics, man. I think we sent that sucker off the press now. If you guys haven't done so, hit that link right there, man. Put in put in your order for some comics. At this point, I guess we could call it an order for issue number one. Not really a pre-order that much. You know, it's going to come out real soon. Well, I guess it's pre-order. Anyhow.
just kayfabe in these weird playing card symbols. Like when you when you really like study those card designs, it's really kind of fascinating stuff. I feel like there's must be some rich history in that, you know, because across companies and stuff, I was looking at, you know, what does a king of clubs look like? And you could find many different designs but they all have the same like they agree on the same like weapons and shit like the king of diamonds has an axe you know wh wh who decided that in history that's the kind of shit that pops into my mind when all I do is sit around all day drawing comics AD Police. No, I don't know that manga. Oh, it would be super cool to have Tim Vigil do a cover. Campbell, thanks for the super chat, man. I don't use uh, the iPad or Cintiq for, for sketching, but I do use it for like laying stuff out, thumbnailing my work, uh, roughing things out. So uh, the lines that you see in this faint blue are lines that were produced in Procreate on the iPad. It's just, it's a great tool for composing pictures. Highly recommended.
No, I'm not freehanding these cards. There's like a very faint blue line that I'm kind of going over top of. Some line weights to the piece. Why not? Andy Coon, what's up, dude? Yeah, that that monsters book is a is a must buy. It's, you gotta have that on your shelf. Certainly, as a maker, you know, like it's a very hopeful notion that you could make such a uh, such a vital book. You know, perhaps one of your best comics after being in a game for 50 years. Outlaw Manga, mm, Fist of the North Star is up there for sure. I got a bunch of crazy stuff when I was over there. Um, Metal K, have you ever heard of Metal K? It was only released in Japan. Only got one trade paperback volume um, before it was canceled or whatever. Berserk probably counts.
got a bunch of crazy looking manga that like I don't even know the um title and there's just so much crazy stuff going on oh you know what uh Kaze Shinobu manga like that is brilliant outlaw manga we did a video about s some of his works you should check that out type in uh, K-A-Z-E I believe into the search and you'll find it one of his mangas called uh, Ryu the, the strongest man on earth and there's a uh, climactic sequence where a guy punches through the earth splits it in half I used a GNIB for a big chunk of it, but these playing cards, you know, they could be static. They could be kind of dead lines. Like they're stamped out of a machine or something. Though, obviously, my wobbly ass hand. Nobody's going to confuse this for. You know, Charles Burns preci Precision or something. This is definitely one of those covers where I'm very curious and excited to see what it'll look like once finished because I want some of these lines to be colored. Uh, it has the potential to be very, very sharp as long as I don't F it up. Yeah, I actually grabbed Old Boy recently. Haven't read it yet.
What's up, Andy? Uh, this I've been I've been doing eleven by seventeen lately, actually. I've been when I was I did about hundred or so pages, maybe a little, uh, so maybe more, uh, on nine by twelve paper. But then I started to kind of yearn for the wrist action, man, of just, you know, sweeping strokes. And you just can't get that with that small. You have to be so precise when you draw small. And I just felt like being less precise, so. I'm going to spot interesting blacks all, all around there. Try to keep it fresh I'll handle all that stuff tomorrow I'm actually pretty beat today yeah you know what I agree David Fincher should uh, do a WYSIWYG movie why not <laughs> was he way trying to find a new hand? That's funny. <laughs> I guess in some way, WYSIWYG was a uh, precursor to Red Room with the technology stuff and uh, amputations. You know who the ultimate uh, Japanese outlaw cartoonist would be that Issy Sagawa cannibal guy, probably. He made some manga. trying to make this guy pop in little bits.
Speaking of Chris and comic tropes, what's up, homeboy? Uh, no, no screen tone on this one. There will be duotone on the hand, and this hand will be modeled a lot more. I just got some basic lines down right now. Um, no zips though. Color, color, solid color on these joints. Can you imagine using some rub the blood cover gimmicks? So that tells me that a very good portion of the audience would know exactly what that was referring to as well. I take a look at the, the demographic data of the kayfabe channel and definitely talking to people who were there when the shit was going down. playing card down a couple more to go but I think I'm gonna call it a night got a lot of stuff done today and I don't want to be sloppy on the pages so I think I'm gonna split if you guys haven't done so Hit that link, get your hands on some Red Room comics, get them pre-ordered, bunch of issues done already, so they should come out reliable, reliably. And stick around on the streams, stick around on the channel. Uh, there will be a lot more streams coming up because... It's about time to put pen to paper on like the sixth or seventh issue. 
you know, one of the things that I finished that Juniper story that was for the free comic book day comic, but you know, that's an issue. That's 33 pages, second longest issue of the series. So there will be a baker's dozen, 13 issues at the very, very least, man. But if you guys keep showing up in a big way, the way that you have been, I might have to do plenty more Red Room comics. Anyhow, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. We'll notify you when new vids come out.